Hey, this is Chris Hong from Chris Hong Live Music Production. I am here um, at Hymn Church. I'm about to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to update um, your Behringer um, X32 or the Midas M32. First, um, you need a USB drive. I'm using the SanDisk 64 gigabyte USB drive right now. But first, before all of that, right, you're gonna have to go to your computer if you have a computer insert your usb drive and then um let me start over so y'all get a so y'all know exactly what i'm doing here open a new tab and um well i, I clicked on midas m32 firmware and then go on midas download so i had to kind of like you know look for what i need for example go to mixer yeah mixers digital mixers oh yeah we don't need that let me see if we're gonna need this one. Yeah, M32 Live, this is the one I have. And um, I think that should be it. Well, you can click on firmware here too. Well, so that leaves us with um, the latest uh, latest version that was released on 2024. So you just gotta click download, hit download. Once it's downloaded, I already downloaded mine so I don't have to go back and do all of that. So just go to folder right here and just basically drag it to your to a USB drive right here. All right, you just gotta drag it here and drop it in there. But I already did all of that, so I'm not trying to redo it again. And then after all of that, you get to go. Just take your USB, just take your USB drive out the computer. All right, then we going back to the mixer and just insert your USB drive and. Well, this is all your recordings. Uh, as soon as you hit view, this was gonna pop up the recordings, or if you have any. And then you're gonna go to setup, just go to setup, and then under global. So if you under something else, let's say for example network or whatever, so just go to global and then click right here. You see where it says what version I'm using right now, right? Version four point. I don't know if you guys can see, but hold on, let me see. Yeah, version four point zero eight. And I'm trying to get the 2024 version, which is the 4.13. So there's two ways to do that, all right? So you could just click on update here. You see where it says shut down, reboot, and update firmware, right? You just click on that, click go, and then you go ahead and select um, your file here. But there's also, also another way to do that, all right? So make sure all your stuff are backed up. So like all your mix and stuff, everything you have, um, on your mixer that you will need or backed up. So go to scenes, right? And then you see all my scenes right here. That, that's everything I have saved on my um, on my console. So <clears throat> I already saved this one to 18. So how, how are you gonna do that? So select an empty, empty slot. So for example, 19 right here. Hold up, the camera is kind of crazy. Okay, all right. So it's, for example, 19 is empty right here, right? You just press save. You see button that says save. So just press save, just hit save right there. And then you name your thing. For example, let's just name it www, whatever, just for um, the sake of this video. And you hit save right here. So as soon as you hit save, everything will be saved on that slot you selected, right? So since I already um, I already did mine, so there's no reason to go save it again. I already have mine on channel 18, I mean on slot 18. So I don't have to redo it again. So back to what I was saying. So there's another way to do that, right? You're gonna shut shut off your mixer. Once the mixer is is um fired off, you're gonna turn it on by holding the view button on the USB recorder. All right. All right. Let's just try to do that. All right. So turn it on. You turn it on right there, and then hold this view button on the recording tab. All right. See what it's saying? It says that it's checking. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's updating right now. You just gotta turn your mixer on and then um, press the recording button. I mean, press the view button on the recorder tab. See, mixer is updated now. It says, see what it says? Updating complete and everything look. And everything is good, you ready to go. It's loading right now. Yep, look. Welcome to firmware version 4.13. 4.13. And we're good to go, man. That's how you do it. Thank you for watching. Peace.